conversation right now is that um, the ownership, right, is uh, being put onto companies, right? Uh, rightfully so, right? And the way I've been, I've been looking at it is it's almost like the, you know, the companies have, have a coloring book, right? And yeah. they're able, and nobody wants to look at a picture in a coloring book that's colored with the same color, right? Uh, it becomes interesting, right? It becomes uh, appealing to the eye when that coloring book is filled with everything. Uh, and so when you, when, as, as I've been thinking about this and you look at how companies typically hire and how um, search firms are typically engaged, right? It's always about, we're going to start hiring because our hair's on fire and we need somebody now, right? And the first line of defense is, go into our current database and call every single person, right? And unfortunately that database is homogenous yeah. because at the end of the day, um, those networks uh, and those people in that pipeline, um, they weren't forced to build a diverse pipeline five years ago, 20 years ago, hell, even two years ago, a year ago. Right. And so we have to start looking at um, for the quickest and easiest person to place, uh, but putting in real work. And it reminds me of, I was reading your story, right? That um, our publication put together on you. And I, and I, you mentioned having a mentor that, that um, was obviously instrumental in your life, but also had mentioned, um, you know, the, this, this, this concept of trying to blend in when you can, right? But at the end of the day, you're like, I am a six, four, 260 pound black man and you're you telling me two in. inches and 20 pounds onto me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and you're using you're you're using that not to you can't blend in, right? So you leaned into it, right? I did. I did, yeah. And thanks. Um, yeah, I looked at it. So I had trouble finding a black mentor back in the, you know, the the early 90s, if you will, in corporate America that would essentially just provide, you know, um growth, um ways to sustain and, and, and just lending ideas, you know, vignettes, if you will, for success. Mm -hmm. And I knew that this is what I wanted to do. And so I identified a white male mentor that, you know, took me under his wing, uh, taught me to play golf, you know, all the good things. And that was one of the advice, the advices that he shared with me was, you know, Vince, you're going to do great, but just, you know, keep your head down and fly under the radar. And again, being the only black executive there at the time, being 6'2", being 240 pounds, whose radar am I going to fly under me? You know, it's not going to happen. So I leaned into it and I said, I'm going to go above. I'm going to always be number one in sales. I'm going to always show up, you know, 30 minutes ahead of time for meetings, 15 minutes of, you know, traffic or something like that happens. And mm -hmm. I'm really going to make sure that um, my work speaks for itself and you, you're not going to really pay attention or it's just an extra bonus, if you will, that I'm a black male mm -hmm. in this position that yeah. maybe traditionally has not been there. And I'll tell you, that's proved for me uh, to translate into, I think, what's led to a successful career in corporate America and, and, and to now being a CEO of an organization that really gives back and provides. Um, I lean on experiences like that. I didn't have that, you know, to reach out to. And so that's what I like as far as sharing and giving back. And then opportunities like this to share that story too, I think will also resonate with this next generation that's coming up. And I always say, you know, there's three people that you keep in your life, right? There's that person that's ahead of you that you look up to and you follow after, and they're actually leading the path for you. There's this per the person that's alongside of you that's your ride or die, they're basically going to be there for you. Um, that shoulder to lean on, those shoulders to climb on, you know, mm -hmm. and then you have your shoulders for them to get on. And then there's the person behind you who you're reaching back for and you're pulling ahead or you're laying the groundwork for them. And oh, that's, that's what I love about these whole opportunities there, man. I haven't heard that one before. That's great. Is that an original, Vince Williams? It's not an original, man. It's not. I wish I could claim it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's when I when I hear it, it just it definitely resonates. Yeah, that's really great. That's really powerful stuff. 